Guys, it's the king of content, back with another video, aka, cause I'm a cowboy! Oh man! I'm here at my mother-in-law's house, and you guys know, I always used to say, I come to my mother-in-law's house, and she has no internet, and I get to play Stadia far away from home, and it was amazing. Well now, there is no more Stadia. And now, I'm gonna be playing PlayStation 5 Remote Play. So I'm going to be playing some God of War because I'm addicted to it. And I want to see, is it going to hold up as good as Stadia? So let's check it out. Let's go. And now, your mama knows. <laughs> So before I do this test, I gotta get something to eat. Let's check it out. All right, let's do it. All right, so let me get some beef soup. Oh yeah. All right, lunch is served. Got some popcorn shrimp. Let's go. All right, check it out, guys. So this is what we're gonna do first. We're gonna do this test live in a parking lot, right? So no Wi-Fi at all, just mobile data. So I'm gonna get in the car and uh, we're gonna do this thing. So I'm gonna record it all. Let's see how long it takes for the PlayStation at home to connect. Now mind you, mind you, I'm two hours away from my house. So remote play is gonna have to connect from here using my mobile data and I wanna see how long it takes and I wanna see how good and clear the graphics are. And on top of that, I'm gonna use just the um, the virtual control. So no controller, I'm hooking up to my phone. No controller, actual controller. So let's see how it goes. I'm also gonna use the stock PlayStation app um, and not the, um, the off-brand version. So let's go. All right, so I am on my phone, as you guys can see, right? And also you can see is I'm not using Wi-Fi, okay? So see that, no Wi-Fi. I'm using mobile data. So we're going to kick into game streaming. So see it says PS Remote Play and then PS Play. The PS Remote Play is the stock PlayStation app. So let's click on that. All right. It says um, select the last console you connected to or find other connections. It says my PS5884. So I'm going to hit that. It says remote play use a lot of more data than most video streaming services. Data charge may apply. So I'm going to hit OK. Now that's just telling me that, hey, you're about to use your mobile data, but I have unlimited, so I'm not worrying about it. So uh, let's go. So now searching for connections via Internet. This may take a few minutes. So I'm going to talk us through this because I don't want to clip anything and I want to see how long it actually takes. So because I'm kind of comparing this to Stadia because I was a big fan of cloud gaming and I always felt the answer to cloud gaming was remote play. Well, now Stadia is shutting down. I stopped playing Stadia. Actually, I stopped playing Stadia before it even shut down and I started playing my PlayStation. OK, there we go. Link in your PlayStation. All right. So that took about a minute. Now it's just checking the network. So now I got to check my mobile data. So at this point at home, my PlayStation should have turned on. And now it has to, so if that, there we go. All right, so that's not bad. That took about a minute and 30 seconds or a minute and 20 seconds. So I'm on my PlayStation right now. So this was the last thing that was on my PlayStation. I was actually playing God of War. I'll click in, go right to God of War. Here, let's check a couple things. So let's do some combat. All right, okay. Uh, this is Sparta Kick, okay. So now I'll pull this out. Okay, that feels good. You can already feel that it's off a bit. Now, I stopped moving and it's still moving. So that is the lag right there. Like, I'm not moving anymore and it still got me spinning. Mind you, I'm not touching anything. I'm hitting L2 and I'm tapping square, but it doesn't register square. Ah, uh, so that would make it even, I wouldn't even be able to play. Now I'll pull this out. Yeah, it's with any weapon. Yeah, so when you hold down another button, 
it doesn't register two buttons at one time. All right, we played this a little bit. I'm gonna simply pop right out of this app. Um, uh, it says this remote play session will be disconnected. Uh, put the connection, the connected PlayStation in rest mode. So if I don't put it in rest mode, the cool thing is the other app should connect faster. So I'm just gonna go to the bottom and back out, exit out of that, go in here. All right, here we go, doing PS Play. Okay, here we go. So, remember, the big deal was if I could hold L2 and hit... Oh, look, yeah, so this actually works better than the PlayStation app because I could actually do this. See, watch. Oh, wait, it was this I wanted to do. All right, so check it out. Look, now I could actually throw my axe. All right, let's go. So, let's see... So this has some advancements, and another thing about about this uh, is that uh, let me pull my watch this guys. I can pull my axe, let my axe come back to me, right? Another thing about this, oh well, look, and it doesn't have the delay. So remember, last time I moved the camera around on the PlayStation app, it actually was all um, it was like not stuck, but I guess the uh, the delay. This is perfect. Oh, look how smooth this is. Now watch this. Let's do some stuff. All right. So let's switch weapons. Hmm. Yo, Kratos is a G. All right, let's switch. All right, not bad. I mean, it looks okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, that looks pretty good to me. Here, let's do this again. Mm. Okay. So all of the things work on this. Perfect. Subscribe to the most epic channel on YouTube for live streams every week. Daily videos. Subscribe. Guys, you got to get, got to get, got to get one of these. Watch my real review. This thing is solid. It's world class. It's the Xbox version, so it's great to work on uh, Android phones. It's great to work on cloud gaming. Um, guys, this is amazing, and it, even if you plug this up to your PC, it registers as an Xbox controller. So I'm going to use this to play uh, God of War. So let's see how smooth it is when I'm playing with a controller hooked up to my phone using remote play. So let's go. Okay, as you can see, I'm moving this around. So this is my controller doing it. Also, look that there is no uh, Wi-Fi. I'm using only mobile data. Okay, so we're going to go right into game streaming. We're going to use. Now we know that the PS Play app is better than the PlayStation stock app. And that's kind of cool when you think about it because I did have to pay for it. I think it was like $6. So let's do remote connect. Okay, automatic. So let's see how long it takes to connect. Connecting via the internet could take a few minutes. It shows the PlayStation is going to connect to my phone. So just waiting. And this is pretty cool, guys. So when you think of when you're away from home and you want to play your PlayStation you know, four or five games, have that same experience. Listen, if you get this mobile controller I got, and if you use remote play, you can still have a good experience playing with your video game. So link in your consent, your your console. Uh, what the heck is a consent? But um, yeah, I am in love with being able to do this. But let's see how good it's going to play with the controller. I'm assuming it's just going to play great. All right, let's back up. And here we go. So as you can see, mm, I can throw. Oh yeah. Alright, so watch this. You could freeze this. Boom. Now I could run up across it. But then look, look at this. I could boom get my axe back. So yeah guys, I'm playing like nothing. It's smooth. Now I actually want to find some enemies, to be honest with you. Um let's see. I'm trying to figure out how do I pull up my, uh, oh, there we go. All right. I want to figure out how to pull up the map on this thing. So, yeah, everything seems to be working good. 
Uh, let's take a boat ride. Jump on in, girl. Right, let's see. Which way we want to go? Let's go to the left. And so the graphics look good. It's playing smooth. There's no lag whatsoever. That's pretty cool. I mean, you would think I was playing cloud gaming. But guess what? I'm using Kratos in God of War Ragnarok, which you can't get on the cloud anywhere. So, guys, this is a pretty good experience using remote play. But, yeah, let's see this. So, I'm pressing my buttons. Right? Everything feels smooth. Okay. Uh, I can roll. Guys, this feels like I'm on my console. Like, no difference. Alright, here we go. Let's get into some fights. Mmm, let's go. Pull out my Blaze of Chaos. Alright, so... There we go. That was a little bit of slowdown. Let's go. Mm. Watch this, guys. Let's go. Mm. Mm. All right, watch this. All right. What, you want this? Alright, here. Bring my axe back. So yeah, guys, it feels great. And yeah, so I want to say remote play is still hanging in there. Uh-oh. Oh, snap. Also, one thing I want to show you that you could do is you can be on the game, right? A lot of people feel like, oh, what would happen if I come off the game? So watch this. I'm going to simply jump off the game. I can move all around. Uh, I could go to my Facebook, right? So I could check a mail, you know, check uh, stuff on my Facebook if I want to, right? No big deal, right? I could even jump out on my Facebook. Go to my Twitter. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I'm on Twitter, right? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, you could go to YouTube. Let's see. Go to my channel. Here we go. It's my YouTube channel. Let's see. All right, here we go. King Content. Okay, good stuff. Now, you can go back, right? So, there's all the stuff I was on. Click back on here, and look, you're still on the game. If you don't lose anything, you could actually be gone for a, a good period of time and come back, and everything is fine. So, that's one thing, too. People think, oh, well, if you log off or if you get a phone call, but no. You still can actually jump back on the game like nothing. And the top thing about remote play is it broadcasts what's ever on your screen. So back home, my PlayStation is on and I could pull up anything and any game that I purchase. So games that you can't find on cloud gaming like God of War Ragnarok, Gotham Knights, even the brand new Call of Duty and Warzone 2.0. Also, you could just simply go to the PlayStation Store. You could go and scroll through anything that's on the PlayStation Store. You could even go to your PlayStation Plus and scroll through all of the things you have on there. And this is what make remote play really, really powerful. Because you're able to get access to things that you can't get on the cloud. And then, to make it even simple... You just exit the same way you typically would if you was on your console. So I just simply go over to the corner, click on power, and hit enter rest mode. And just like that, my PS5 is back home shutting down. And that's it.
So yeah, guys, that is Remote Play in 2022 on the PlayStation 5. I think it's pretty good. Personally, I think you should, guys should just get some type of mobile controller. Uh, me, personally, I have the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So my phone is kind of big. It has a big screen. But either way, being able to play games mobily on the go is definitely a plus. So I would like to say I'm going to be able to enjoy playing this weekend at my mother-in-law's house as if I was using cloud gaming with remote play. And again, I'm playing God of War Ragnarok, which is a game that's not on the cloud anywhere. But yet still, I didn't have to lug my big PlayStation 5 with me. I'm able to still play and enjoy the game away from home. So with that said, guys, uh, make sure you're checking out the content. I do four live streams a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 5.30 p.m. Eastern. I put out daily content because I am the king of content, a.k.a. because I'm a cowboy. Oh, man. And with that said, and now your mama knows. Write that down. And now your mama knows. <laughs>